I'm Don Puglisi, singer-songwriter from Detroit originally. I'm New York-based now, and um, if you ask me what the journey was to being an artist, I would say yeah, I'm a boy in the suburbs, I'm growing up, and I feel like I'm isolated, and I don't want to follow the career track of everyone else. I always loved to draw, play the guitar, and then I took a sculpture class in college. I was a journalism major and uh, hated it, but loved the sculpture class. And realized uh, that I had to move downtown Detroit, which was not scary, it was a blast. Even though Detroit is known for its pizza and uh, music. Yeah, so the Motown, the rock thing, Michigan is known for being the home of Iggy Pop and um, uh, Jack White and the MC5 and uh, uh, and Ted Nugent. Love to disown him, but this is not a political message. My first gig, uh, I played electric guitar, Gibson SG, all these songs, all these wonderfully depressing songs that I had written in my late teens. I played them in my early 20s live and I uh, kind of got discovered by a dude who played in a lot of bands and we formed our own group called uh, Kuru, which was a disease that cannibals get from eating human brain. It's a laughing disease. And uh, so we were like a quasi-punk hardcore band and uh, really learned how to write different types of songs in that band. Yay! As I was uh, growing during my teen years, uh, I was discovering that there's a bigger world out there, of course. And uh, what, the closer I got to the deep, dark recesses of Detroit, which people are scared of, um, the brighter life got for me because I was connecting more to something. So life really began when I was 20 because I found, kind of found my crowd and um, all the ne'er-do-wells and ragamuffins of the post-punk era in Detroit. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Yeah, musically, the influence at that time, you know, David Bowie, anything that David Bowie tried, I wanted to try. So I even tried, uh, you know, so that's why I tried painting and sculpture and mime and uh, even went through a little ballet, flute, piano phase. And, but yet I'm a rocker throughout it all. So I thought, oh, it's good enough for Bowie, it's good enough for me, you know. And I think I read in a book somewhere that all my favorite English rock stars went to art school. So I was like, I gotta go to art school too. <laughs> and in the 90s, I kind of abandoned music because uh, I got more interested in painting. So I was a, a painter for a long time and uh, moved to New York for the painting. Uh, so I was very serious about the art. So I got a MFA in art. <laughs> MFA in art. Mm -hmm. In other words, ditch digger. Uh, in other words, uh, waiter. In other words, uh, truck driver. <laughs> I consider myself to be in the empathy business. Um, that is to say, I uh, want to share the songs. Uh, I guess you could say it's kind of a evangelical thing uh, without getting religious at all here. I, perhaps every musician and every artist is an evangelist of some sort because you're putting out an idea. The next thing for me is to get the music out there. I've been playing a lot in the New York area, but I like to travel to Europe and um, Finland, maybe I'll come to a town near you, hopefully um, in the very near future, hopefully this summer, but um, yeah, that's the next step, get the work out there and, uh, and share it. I feel that this music is for moving forward and it's for uh, allowing us the opportunity to feel things we need, cathartic feelings. A, in order to do that, you have to go through things, you have to 
um, work it out. And I think my music helps people do that. Girl.